Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day everyone. Okay, now we will learn chapter 5, Integration 5.1, Integration of Function. At the end of this video, you will be able to define integration as anti-derivative. Let's recall the derivative. Let's say we have x squared differentiate with respect to x. We get 2x. Differentiate x squared plus 2, again we get 2x. Differentiate x squared minus 1, we get 2x. Differentiate x squared plus exponent, we get 2x. What is 2x the derivative of? So, 2x comes from the derivative of x squared, x squared plus 2, x squared minus 1, x squared plus exponent, and so on. So, we can write 2x comes from the derivative of x squared plus c. So, how to write the antiderivative? To write the antiderivative, we use elongated S notation. 2x dx equal to x squared plus c. So we can conclude that the integration is the reverse of differentiation. Okay, so if we differentiate capital Fx, we got small letter f, and when we integrate small letter f, we got capital Fx plus C, so we can say that the integration is anti-derivative. As example 1, verify that Fx is the anti-derivative of small letter f. Example A, you are given capital F equals to 2x squared and small letter f equals to 4x. To verify, first step, we differentiate capital F. We get 4x. 4x is equal to small letter f. Next step, we integrate small letter f. So integrate 4x, we get 2x squared plus c where 2x plus c is equals to capital letter fx. So when we differentiate 2x squared, we get small letter f, which is equal to 4x, and we integrate 4x, we get 2x squared plus c, which is equal to capital letter of f. So we can say that the function capital F is antiderivative of small letter f. That is key. More example. You are given function f equals to 2x over square root of 2x squared minus 1 and small letter f equals to square root of 2x squared minus 1. To verify function capital F is antiderivative of f, first step, we differentiate 2x over square root 2x squared minus 1. By using quotient rule, so we get this one. Then we simplify, we get negative 2 over 2x squared minus 1 to the power of 3 over 2. So we can say this function doesn't equal to square root of 2x squared minus 1. So the differentiation of Capital F is doesn't equals to small letter F. Therefore, the function capital F is not antiderivative of F. Example number two. Given function y equals to one over three x cubed, find dy dx. Hence, find integration of x squared. First step, 
we differentiate y. By using power rule, we get 3x squared over 3, which is equals to x squared. Hence, to find integration of x squared, first step, we copy our dy dx, which is equals to x squared. Second step, we integrate both sides. So, integrate dy dx with respect to x, we get y. So, y, we substitute with 1 over 3 x cubed plus c. For question B, we have integration of x squared. First step, we copy dy dx, which is equal to x squared. Next step, multiply to both sides. And then, we integrate both sides. We get integration of 2x squared dx equals to 2 dy dx. Integrate dy dx with respect to x is equal to y plus c. So multiply by 2, integration of 2x squared is equal to 2 over 3 x cubed plus c. That's all for today. Please answer this question and submit to your lecturer.